another foundation review. I know, I know. But all these, it's not my fault. It's all these brands that are coming out with foundations. And I'm just very curious. I'm hoping that I really like this foundation because I didn't really like the stick foundation that came out a couple years ago. So we will just see how this one goes. But I have a feeling that I'm really going to like this foundation. So it comes in this unicorn packaging. Very cute, it's like a shiny packaging this foundation also guys when i first saw Marvina post pictures of this foundation on twitter i thought that this font was a little tacky i was like that looks kind of ugly but the more that i've seen it the more it has grown on me she said she did it this way for working makeup artists so they can find their foundations easier in their kit which I don't really have that problem personally, but I can see maybe how some people might have that problem, but I feel like foundations is kind of hard to miss. So I don't know. That was her whole reasoning for having this huge font. Of course, bought mine on their website, AnastasiaBeverlyHills.com, not sponsored. It was pretty easy to find my shade. They have 50 shades, and if you haven't seen my, if you haven't seen my Pat McGrath, foundation review. It was pretty similar like Pat McGrath where they have a picture of a person wearing the foundation in every shade. So again, kind of what I did with that my other foundation, I just kind of looked for someone who looked like they had my skin tone and undertone and went about it that way. Although there was one foundation that I'm pretty sure would have been perfect for me, but it was sold out. So I opted to get the shade darker. So I have a feeling that this foundation might be a little dark for me, but I don't know. We will see. I haven't even swatched it yet, so we will just see. This foundation retails for $38, and again, I'm telling you guys, everyone's coming out with this light to medium coverage foundation, and this is what it is. It is a medium coverage foundation. It says it's water resistant. It is a lumin. It says it's a luminous foundation, so it's probably gonna have a luminous finish. Yes, that's exactly what it says. It creates a luminous natural finish. Claims to be long wearing, but it feels weightless and looks ultra fresh. Again, there's a thing going on with all these foundations that is the direction that we are going to. So if you're a full coverage girl, these new foundation launches, probably not your cup of tea. And it also says it's great on its own, so there's no need to set it with a powder. Packaging has a pump. It is a glass bottle, so it feels pretty heavy. I think $38 is pretty good for a foundation of this caliber, a pretty high-end foundation, but we will just see if it's actually worth the $38. I chose the shade 250C, which online it says it's, it's for light skin with a cool golden undertone, which I feel like that undertone is pretty spot on for me, but I don't know, again, we will just see. So let's just go ahead and get started. I'm going to do one pump, okay, so I'm going to pump it out. There it goes. Ooh, she's thick. She's definitely a little bit thicker than what I expected. I mean, it's still liquidy, but definitely thicker than the Pat McGrath. I was actually going to review both of the foundations side by side because I feel like they're gonna, this is going to be pretty similar just because of what it claims. But I don't know. I thought that each of these foundations deserved their own video, so that's why I didn't do that. Oh. That's a pretty good shade. Wow, I really like that shade. That's like pretty perfect, actually. Let's do another pump. Okay, so that is two pumps, and already I have pretty medium coverage. And I feel like I didn't really have to work hard to get this coverage. And I'm really liking it. It looks very luminous, fresh, like it claims. And it just looks... Like your skin, but better almost. So there's a side by side. It really evens out the skin tone. It gives you pretty good coverage. So I'm just going to do the other side of my face. We're going to go through this pretty quickly. This is more of my trouble area. As you can see, I have this little nest of pimples going on. Pretty sure it's due to stress. It's doing a pretty good job at covering it. That was one pump. I'm gonna do a second pump to finish up the side of the face. 
So there's two pumps on each side of the face applied. Now it's looking very pretty. It's a little bit more matte than the Pat McGrath. And I'm sorry if you don't like me comparing those two, but I feel like I kind of need to just because they're, these two foundations came out at a similar time and they claim to be doing the same things. So definitely a little bit more matte than that one. And it has a little bit more coverage. So I'm liking it so far. Um, here, you can still see my little friends peeking through, but I'm just go, gonna go ahead and do one more pump and kind of go over the areas that need a little bit more coverage. So right here, and I don't feel like my freckles need more coverage. So mainly right here in these areas. Where... Mm, that did a really good job at covering it actually. So this is definitely a little bit more buildable than the Pat McGrath Skin Finish Foundation. So now that I am done applying my foundation, I am just going to do the rest of my makeup off camera and I will be back with my final impression thoughts. So obviously I am done with the rest of my makeup and one thing I want to mention is this foundation is called the Luminous Foundation and I don't feel that it is luminous. I feel like it's more of a demi matte on me and I'm I'm pretty oily so yeah right now it's looking more matte than luminous but maybe throughout the day it's gonna get a little bit more luminous but right now it looks pretty demi matte. Not that I hate it but I just wanted to mention that and I'm sure you can see that as well. It's not super luminous and I also didn't powder the only areas that I powdered was um, underneath my eyes and that was it. So everywhere else looks demi matte to me. I'm, I'm pretty sure to you as well. So far I'm liking this foundation. Again, it is a medium coverage foundation and super buildable almost. So it's giving me a lot of coverage for the amount of product that I used. And I like it guys. It's like an everyday foundation for me. It just it looks really pretty. I'm impressed. Like I said, I wasn't sure if I was going to like it, but I'm loving it so far. I think that is all I have to say for the moment. It is currently 7.50 a.m., so I will do my first check-in around noon, like always, and we will see how this foundation is holding up, but so far, so good. Okay, so time for the first check-in. It is currently 12.20 p.m., so I've been wearing this foundation for about four hours and it's looking pretty good it's looking a little bit more luminous but around this time I start to get a little shiny and my oils start to peek through I don't have any complaints because I my thoughts were that it was gonna look like this from the beginning y'all saw that was looking like a little semi matte but now it's looking a little bit more luminous and I like it and also when I mention guys that I feel like this foundation is more of a medium to buildable full coverage. I honestly feel like you can tell that I'm wearing foundation. Does it claim that it's like it looks like skin like? It just says it's a lightweight foundation, blurs any imperfections, and I think it does. I think it does it, it's doing a pretty good job at like kind of just smoothing over my pores. It blurs imperfections without caking or masking the skin's natural radiance. Also, it does claim to be flashback resistant, and I did take a picture this morning. I just forgot to mention it. And here is the picture. So it is perfect for flashback photography. If you have, you know, a girl's night out, you are using a flash a lot, wedding, what have you, you're going to be a-okay with this foundation. So, yeah, guys, I don't have any complaints so far. It just that it is kind of settling in my fine lines, which I have that problem with foundations that are a little bit more medium to full coverage, but I don't really mind that. Other than that, everything looks good. Everything is holding on well, like my powders and stuff like that. I'm going to check in this afternoon, and we will just see how it's holding. So, it is currently 5.59, so 6 p.m. This has been going strong for 10 hours now. And as you can see, I'm looking very shiny, very glowy, but 
the foundation is on intact it is still really good coverage like it still has that medium almost full coverage it's hiding everything so nicely except for I was picking at this pimple so uh, ignore that I like that it covers all of my blemishes that's something that the Pat McGrath didn't really do this one definitely has more coverage so if you are more of a full coverage girl I'd say give this foundation a try because you might like it and if you're oily I would recommend powdering but like I said I don't mind looking glowy it doesn't look ugly it looks really pretty really glowy and just it just looks very on trend I'm actually about to go work out so we will see how it holds up after this workout I'm thinking it's gonna hold up pretty well but I don't know we will just okay so this is the last and final check-in it is currently 11 11 p.m. so I've been wearing this foundation for 16 hours now and it looks pretty good honestly I am looking very shiny I did work out so that might have a little bit to do with it but as y'all saw in my last chicken, I was already pretty oily. I don't think it changed much since then. Like, look at how well my blush and my bronzer and everything that's still on my face. It looks so good. Do you see that it, it's settling more into these little fine lines and in these little wrinkle lines? Up close, I look very shiny, but I don't really mind that. So if you didn't watch my last foundation review, I'm starting to do categories and rating every category on a scale of 1 to 5, 5 being the highest, just so you can get a more precise review from me or my thoughts. My first category is price. It does retail for $38, so I don't think it's horrible. I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5. Just because I think it's pretty doable for a high-end foundation. My next category is claims. And, you know, it claims to be a medium luminous foundation that lasts all day. And then it is waterproof. No flashback. And I think it did a pretty good job at getting those claims correct. So I'm going to give it a four and a half because it wasn't really luminous at first. It started getting luminous, but because of my oils. So I don't know if you're dry if it would get to a luminous finish, if you know what I mean. That kind of goes into my next category, which is longevity. I'm going to give it a four and a half. Again, just because now towards the end of the day, it doesn't it didn't say that it's going to last more than 12 hours or anything like that. But it's also not bad. Four and a half out of five. That's pretty good. It just looks very oily. And again, I don't mind, but if you do, you might not like that. And you're going to have to powder yeah that's why I get a four and a half my next category is what I repurchase this and I'm gonna give it a five out of five because I love this foundation I think the price point is good it just looks so pretty on this foundation for me is gonna be more maybe not so much every day but more of a special occasion just because it really evens out my skin tone it has a medium to almost like full coverage look. I would definitely repurchase this and I'm also thinking about repurchasing it or purchasing more shades for my clients just because I feel like it's going to be good for dry skin, oily skin, combination skin. I know I mean on oily skin I would have to powder my clients a little bit more but I think, I don't know, I haven't seen anyone review it with drier skin. I think it would be okay for dry skin so definitely would repurchase this packaging I'm gonna give it a five out of five it has a glass bottle it has a pump I didn't have any trouble with it so really what more can you want and then the wow factor so this is more like if it was something very extraordinary something new and innovative I'm gonna give it a four because it didn't really have a wow factor but I'm so in love with this foundation I think it deserves a four and if you average out all of those scores this foundation gets a four out of five a four out of five a four and a half out of five for me so that is pretty good that tells you that I really love this foundation and I would definitely recommend it to you and if you're oily just make sure you powder when you apply it well not so much when you apply it because it did give a demi matte 
but you might have to powder after a couple hours so keep that in mind if you have any questions about this foundation or any concerns comments or if you have dry skin if you try this foundation please let me know in the comments below what are your thoughts on this foundation and if you like these kinds of videos don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe because you know it's free 99 and we'll see you in my next one bye